Our guys are anxious to get back to, to work today. Um, I have a big, important week ahead of us. Uh, we had a good uh, meeting yesterday, team meeting in practice, although we were just in spiders. Today we'll be in full pads. and um, Obviously, we need to make a number of corrections and uh, identifying those and making sure that um, we hit on those things. I know the players and coaches uh, were disappointed uh, from Saturday because we didn't uh, uh, meet the expectations that, that we want to have and um, it uh, something we're going to learn from and move forward and, and uh, uh, it's easy to it's easy to praise everybody when uh, you're successful and it's easy to be negative when you're not successful and I think sometimes in this world we're probably too negative and so uh, we're going to emphasize uh, the things we have to get corrected and uh, and continue to work and continue to, to grow with the guys because that's uh, the only thing we can do and the only thing we know how to do and just get back to work and go go play it's pretty much what I thought it would be um, and uh, you know even even the two games we've played the defenses um, have been an aggressive style of the two defenses we've seen uh, offensively um, you got to have weapons you know bottom line you, you have to have weapons you know whether it's wideouts running backs quarterbacks uh, and I've been I've been really impressed but also goes to show you it doesn't matter what you did one week you didn't mean you're going to win the next week. You know, I don't know if anybody would have thought Texas Tech would have beat Oklahoma State, and sure enough, they did. And so that's why, you know, I look at it big picture and, and say we have to focus on this week and getting our work done and getting better to face the next opponent and not worry about well, what's what's in game three down the line and game nine down the line. We just got to focus on our job. Well, I think it all depends on when they are. Um, you know, if we had this in week nine, I think everybody's beat to heck, and you got to be smart with them. We just came off a of bye week. We played two games, and we have another bye week. And so um, we are doing things a little bit differently simply because this is the last bye week we have, and we want to get some look at some younger players. And so we'll put some guys uh, in positions. We'll even scrimmage uh, on one day a little bit with the young guys that maybe haven't played as much. Uh, and then uh, we now will look at more of where's the areas we've struggled at. Here's an area that we've struggled in the high red zone between the 25 and 35 yard line, getting things established there. So we'll look at it and say, we're gonna go our one offense against our one defense and work in that high red zone. We'll do that today and we'll find another area tomorrow um, it, it, rather than saying, okay, we'll just spend two solid weeks on TCU.